Welcome to my channel, lovelies. I'm glad to have you back here. And I really want to apologize for not being able to be online for a while. Well, Nigerian system, I really had to read for exams. But anyway, so today I'm simply going to be showing you guys just little of what I do whenever I have my protectives on. This is me getting my protectives. I usually do it myself, but I wasn't really in a mood to like take the whole day or even two days trying to make a micro twist. So I had a friend of mine help me out and she was pretty amazing. She treated my hair very softly and there was no dragging. My scalp was well treated. So that's what you guys should look at in a breeder, guys. This is basically us still in the process. Of course, whenever you're doing stuff like that, you don't expect it to just happen all at once. Just like when we think about our braids. Yep, and this is us all done. So the main concept here is not the protective process. It's more about what you do after you have the protective on. So I usually take out time to make my infusions both for my oils or my waters sometimes i just macerate whatever herbs i want to use and then some other times i infuse them into my oils so this is a macerated clove water i could post that out maybe sometime in the week of how i make it if you guys are interested just drop a comment so i'm just applying a few drops to my to my hair most of the time Whenever I look at how I mishandle my hair, I notice it from how my edges tend to thin out. So whenever I do this, it like helps my hair appreciably, it grows back, it helps my edges from the stress of always putting it in a bun or trying all our natural to do sharp sharp hair. So that was it. And then the next thing, I'm just going to be applying my shea butter. I make my shea butter myself. After I collect it, I just mix in the herbs I would like to use. You can check out, see whatever fits your hair. If you've tried one or two herbs, you can actually use it with shea butter to make it in form of like an ointment. So guys, just really get in, massage your scalp because a lot of times your hair needs circulation whenever you apply your products and you don't circulate you do that by massaging your head it allows the product to get into your scalp very well and then it can actually do what you want it to do so i'm just doing that as you guys can see and it's a very lovely feeling i always say these guys massaging your scalp oh very very awesome feeling well so i'm basically just showing you guys the length of hair i've been able to retain in the while of my process the hair care journey is not easy but just like every other thing you do in life consistency is gold i may not have been online for such a while to show you guys but i'm glad you stick around so thank you guys subscribe like and share bye